Metro Manila commuters can look forward to more routes involving P2. Let's hear more about this report from Marita Muwahe. Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board, or LTFRB, together with the Department of Transportation and Communication, launched today its North Edsa to Ortigas Premium Point-to-Point -point Bus Service. Ito ay tinatawag natin point-to-point dahil from the origin ay ang baba na lang nito ay sa destination. Hindi ito authorized na mag-pick up or mag-drop off in between. No, kaya napapabilis ang kanyang biyahe. Ang kahalagaan nito ay naipapakita natin ang bagong sistema ng uh, bus service, hindi na kagaya nung dati, na nag-aantay, nag-uunahan, etc. No? So ito ay talagang uh, dahil ang mga drivers ito ay fixed weights. Sila ay nangon ng, uh, ng uh, sweldo kahit sila ay walang sakay or meron silang sakay. According to Attorney Winston Hines, LTFRB chairman, unlike the regular buses, the P2P bus service has a schedule to follow. And because of this, with or without passenger, the bus has to live. Aside from this, travel time is faster as the driver cannot unload or pick up passengers during the trip. This is because P2P drivers are waged and does not rely on the number of passengers for their income. The goal of this bus service is to attract private motorists to just leave their vehicles at home and take premium buses, thus easing the metro roads from traffic. At present, a P2P bus service from Alabang to Makati and vice versa was also inaugurated recently. Opened in the near future will be the Fairview to Makati route. Meanwhile, Chairman Hines announced that their office is open for any complaints filed by commuters. For now, most complaints they receive are the snob taxi drivers. Chairman Hines says such violators may be penalized. Ito po ay uh, liman libo ang kanilang uh, penalty uh, for first violation. Tapos yung mga drivers naman, we recommend either the suspension or cancellation ng kanilang franchise, ng kanilang professional driver's license. For the People's Television, this is Marita Muahe.